parked the car. I've just arrived at Wat Baknam Basi today. And uh, just getting out of the car park, look. Get a glimpse of uh, rather a large Buddha. Looks rather inviting. Here we are today at Wat Baknam Basi Turun, also known as Wat Paknam for short. It's a royal temple established in 1610 during the Ayutthaya period and it's located right in the heart of old, old, old Bangkok on the Tomburi side of the Chao Phraya River in Basi Turun. This was a pretty popular temple for the first couple of hundred years, but by the um, late 1800s it had fallen into a state of disrepair. In 1916, the meditation master Luang Pusot Kadasaro became abbot here, uh, whereupon he remained for the first half of the 20th century. When he got here, there were, I think, 12 or 13 practicing monks. Luang Pusat was well known for his charisma and outspokenness. Now, during his time, the temple underwent a major change uh, from a temple with only 13 months that was in disrepair to a prosperous center of education and meditation practice with over 500 monks the highest in Thailand at the time and literally hundreds of mere chi. The temple became well known through Luang Pusot's meditation method. And it's just incredible. Look at that. This god gantuan buddha image that you can see in front of us is actually was actually built in honor of luang pusa and the thai royal family it's called pra buddha damakaya tet mongon and the image is just under 70 meters tall and 40 meters wide the construction is a cooperation between thai and chinese construction technicians and it's actually made of solid bronze Pure bronze, making the image the first of its kind in the world. Wow. And here they're obviously doing a few repairs. Look at these tiles. ready for the renovation of Wat Baknam Basi Turun. That's by far the largest Buddha I've ever seen, by far. If that's not the largest Buddha in Bangkok then, my grandmother's my mother's auntie. Wat Paknam is widely known for its charity and nationwide project to propagate the five precepts in Thai society. It's the most important system of morality for Buddhist lay people here in Thailand. They constitute the basic code of ethics to be respected by the followers of Buddhism. Now the precepts are commitments to abstain from killing living beings, stealing, sexual misconduct, lying and intoxication. Now within the Buddhist doctrine they're meant to develop mind and character to make progress on the path to enlightenment. As usual near a temple, we've got um, lots of hungry catfish in this area because you're not allowed to fish this area because it's right outside the temple and the, the fish know that, so look. Gotta love that shiny Thai star, so beautiful and colourful.
This stupa is named Maharaja Mongon, and the name means a blessed great land and refers to Thailand under the reign of the royal family to which the stupa has been dedicated. It also refers to Somdet Chuang's honorary name. It's 80 meters high and it's a 12 sided polygon shape with five floors in it. That's just the other side of the canal, look. Look. When people used to talk or write about the Venice of the East, this is the area they were talking about. Um, see the big fish down there, look. Yeah, this is the area they were talking about. I mean, when the capital was still a Utia, this area here was known as a bit of a water city, Tombori, and also the other side. The other side was just a, I think, just a, a plum growing village or something like that, a village called Bang Kok. But, um, yeah, this, this was full of activity. Um, I'm not even gonna put a date on it, but certainly during the Utia period, so. 1700 while we're here we might as well see if we can have a little look in now it's actually home to the Damakaya movement or the birthplace of that movement I'm explaining a voiceover it's a very common sign here in here in Asia anyway got a floor here with loads and loads of ancient Buddha relics, Buddha images, images of respected monks, including that of Luang Pusot himself. And then we're going to go right to the very top floor, <laughs> which I shan't talk too much about, but it's a remarkable sight, the top floor. You don't, you don't want to miss this, honestly. It's, if I was, a, I don't know how to, 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 to describe it really, it's like, psychedelia meets astronomy meets buddhism honestly you don't want to miss it this temple also has had a significant impact on female buddhist practice i'm sure visitors of uh, visitors to thailand have seen the ladies the buddhist nuns walking about dressed all in white now the temple here is very popular among mere chi nuns now one of its Merchi, Merchi Chandra Konok Jung, went on to establish another temple which later became widely known as Wat Pra Damakaya. I won't talk about that too much, but you may Google that name and have a look. Here in Thailand, the National Thai Nuns Institute was founded by Merchi Pok from Wat Pak Nam, who has also led the institute for a long time. Now, Mayor Chi Chandra Konok Yung became the teacher of Luang or Damajayo, and together with him founded Wat Pra Damakaya. Wat Pak Nam attracts a lot of Mayor Chi because of Luang Pusot's policies, 
which provide opportunities and flexibility. The temple is attractive because it emphasizes meditation, offers free dormitories for Merchi, free Buddhist and secular studies, and a stipend of 800 baht a month. The temple, therefore, is the largest Merchi community in Bangkok, and as of 1993, the largest no, in Thailand. This is Wednesday. Lovely peaceful spot to walk about. Like I said, here I am at Wat Bat Nam Basu to learn. Um, if you do like a lovely little quiet temple by the waterways, you can come here by boat, you can walk down the Kalong Canal, you can come here by underground, or you can do what I did and, and drive here. It's very easy to get to. Just over the river in Tombori, one of the oldest, or if not the oldest part of Bangkok. If you did like this video, then leave a comment below, click like, thank you. Well, that was a lovely, peaceful. That was a lovely, peaceful little visit. A lovely, peaceful little wander. You don't need to be religious to to drink in the tranquility and the ambience of such a place. Truly beautiful. You should. Ah, oh, I'm not going to tell you what to do. If you want to have a look at places like this, then do so. If you don't, then that's all. Great. I'm pleased I just came out and walked over this bridge. Look, because there's loads of well, Temple Street art done by boats. Look. All the way outside. Huh. Another little fellow fishing over there. Just have a little look in our side here. Just have a look at the local canal. The famous Thai long tail boat right there. And look, there's the jetty up there. Look. Let's go and have a little look. Okay. 
is another little view here. Let's go and have a look. Where we get a little glimpse of the beauty. Look, look at that. Bit of an anchor. It's one of the old school boats over there. 